Easy. Okay, look. Spare me all the heart wrenching over the suicide of Caroline Flack. Okay, Caroline Flack chose suicide over jail because there is every possibility that she would have been going to jail. Now, let me just say, first of all, that my sympathy extends to her family, who must be going through hell. But that's as far as it extends. I also recognise the fact that if she did have uh, clinical depression, that that has no respect for age, gender, or what you've got in your bank account. It can affect anybody from all walks of life. But what we've seen with Caroline Flack is another princess of privilege who's got herself into trouble because she couldn't control her temper, okay? Now, there are people out there who have got real problems. There are people out there who don't know where the next meal is coming from. There are people out there who don't know if they're going to have a roof over their head tonight. There are people out there who have got serious health problems that blight their lives. There are people out there that have got serious disabilities that they have to deal with every day. Now, Caroline Flack had none of that. What she had was a situation that she created herself because she couldn't control her temper. So the case revolves around the fact that she bashed her boyfriend over the head with what I believe was a, a bedside lamp and left the place looking like a bloodbath. And there is a lot of criticism from her fans about the, the Crown Prosecution's choice to press ahead with the case, even though her boyfriend said that he didn't want to press charges. Well, I actually side with the Crown Prosecution over this because just because he didn't want to press charges, what about when she does it to somebody else? If she's taught now that she can't go around doing that, maybe that just might have a positive outcome. But I'll tell you right now that somebody like her going to jail, I mean, you know, the, these prison dykes would have a field day, wouldn't they? And that's ultimately what she was terrified of. Now, if you caught publicity... Then you get publicity. You get it when you want it, and you get it when you don't. If you don't like that, then jack it in and go and get a job outside of the public eye, and then you don't have to suffer media scrutiny, or what all the fans have said. So go do it. Don't moan to us if you caught publicity and things happen to turn against you because you can't control your temper and you leave your apartment looking like a bloodbath when the police go and check it out. So, this is, the, the, this is what I have a, an issue with regarding stuff like this, because she is a victim of her own devices. And ultimately, I always say that suicide is not an act of cowardice. I say it's an act of courage, because you have to go against all your natural human instincts in order to do it. But in this case, it's pure cowardice. Because she was terrified of going to prison and she was terrified that she'd lose a lucrative career on this. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know whether I call Love Island entertainment because I, I, I couldn't even bring myself to watch such bullshit, to be quite honest with you. But here we have it now. Uh, and, and now a third death uh, is connected with that programme. And I'm going to say, for God's sake, it's time to flip and tip it in the trash can where it belongs. But don't moan about media scrutiny if you caught that lifestyle. And something else that, that I've always had to laugh about where she's concerned is that she spent her life dating men that are half her age and then wondering why things don't work out. Let me tell you, women in your 40s, OK? Men, when they're just turning 20, there's still kids up here, all right? It's never going to work out. Now, I've dated a, a woman much older than me when I was that age, and guess what? It didn't work out. But there you go. That's what, she, that's what happens when you, you are a victim of your own devices. And unfortunately, it's come back to that. It's sad for a family. I agree with that. But... I am sick of seeing now all this talk about introducing so-called Caroline's Law, yet an another example of picking one person's uh, law to, to, to make an actual law out of it, or one person's name, should I say, to pick a law out of it without any thoughts to the ram ramifications of what might occur down the line. OK, thanks for watching. Attack me if you want, if you don't agree with me. Throw some abuse my way because I can take it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Easy.